In this lecture, we will connect ramifications with geometry, and at the end of the lecture, we are going to show some pictures uh, in which we will visualize ramification. So first, we need to recall uh, some algebraic geometry. So we start with this K, which is an algebraically closed field. You can take this as complex numbers, and say F is an irreducible polynomial of degree n. So when we are talking about degree n, we are going to think of this polynomial with uh, coefficients in uh, kx and the variable is y. So essentially the polynomial therefore lies in this kxy. So the degree would be in terms of this variable y. So in the variable y and we are lying in this kxy. So we further assume that f is monic in y and it is also non-singular. So this will become clear in a bit. So why we are taking it to be monic polynomial and non-singular. So corresponding to f we have our coordinate ring. So which is from this ring you modulo out f. So this coordinate ring is associated to our polynomial f. And the maximal ideals of this k v are of this form x minus a y minus b this is precisely because this k is closed and uh, these points a b uh, lie on the curve f a b equals to zero so again in geometry you draw some curve like this and this is the equation of the curve f equals to zero and you have this point a b which lies on the curve so it satisfies f a b equals to zero and corresponding to this you also have this ideal x minus a comma y minus b so now we can uh, find the residue field. So this kv, you modulo out this ideal here. You have kv, then you have x minus a, y minus b. So essentially what we are doing is, uh, this will just become k because this is just an evaluation map. So you have any function here from which you modulo out the ideal. So say you have some function g lying in this thing and you evaluate this function g at points a and b and you will get some number k. So this you will get as k. So now a few facts. So the first fact is this extension kv over kx this is integral. Now this is integral precisely because we have a f as a monic polynomial and we describe this f as a monic polynomial with coefficients in kx and the variable is y. So f is in kx, it's a monic polynomial with coefficients in kx and variable y. So therefore it is going to, uh, any element of kv is going to be integral over kx, precisely because of our poly polynomial, this f, this irreducible polynomial and our definition of kv being this. So this was one. And second is we have uh, talked about this in the lectures on normalization. If f is non-singular, then this kv is actually the integral closure of kx. So not only every element is integral over it, it is also the integral closure of kx. So now we talk about the ramification. So we have recalled some facts uh, from algebraic geometry. So now we talk about ramification. So first thing is from our curve f, we can consider the projection map to the a fine line. So vf is just this curve. So this is the vanishing set of f. So v vanishing set of f. So precisely this diagram. So from here we can go to a1. You just take point a, b on this curve and project it to our uh, a1. So say this is a1 and you're going to project this to a here. So this is our projection. This is a subjective map. So this will give rise to a contravariance. So corresponding to a1, we have this ring kx. Corresponding to this vf, we have our coordinate ring kv. So this arrow is reversed. So that is precisely what contravariance is. The arrow is reversed. So now for ramification, we want to know which prime ideals p of kx. So this prime ideal p lies in here. Which prime ideals here are ramified in this ring here? So which of the prime ideals are ramified? So the ideals of this kx, because this is a closed ring, are of this form x minus a, where a is in k, simply because this k is closed. So these are the ideals of this form. 
So now we want to study their ramification in KV. So first we study our degree of extension. So what is the degree of extension of KV over KX? This is precisely N. That is the degree of our polynomial F. Uh, so this is precisely as in the case of Galois theory. So recall that you had this uh, extension root 2 or join to rationals over rationals and the correct way to construct this extension was that you have uh, rationals here and then here you are talking about this ring so this thing is same as this and for algebraic geometry so instead of q you are taking in as kx and then here you are taking as kxy over f so instead of this x square minus 2 you could have any polynomial and this is precisely this is this portion and this is this portion and extension of this was uh, 2 degree of extension because of degree of this polynomial irreducible polynomial here also this is irreducible polynomial so degree is going to be n now you can talk about residue fields so kv modulo p so this is right here so this is just k so this will be just k what about kx modulo this p again kx modulo p this p is of this form x minus a again this is an evaluation map you take any function here evaluate it at a you will again get k so your uh, this degree of these residue fields is just one so now recall the formula this n which is the degree of extension is precisely equal to summation of ei fi so this is the ramification index this fi is right here but we have seen this fi is just one so this is just summation of uh, i is ei so this n is just summation of all the residue indices uh, which we have talked about uh, before so this ideal uh, x minus a y minus p will ramify over this x minus a obviously this ideal contains this if and only if uh, this e is greater than 1 um, so uh, yeah so this thing will factorize as some square here then only it will ramify so this will be become more clear as we see some examples and uh, visualize this so thus x minus a would ramify if and only if there are fewer than and a distinct maximal ideals of kv that contain x minus a so what does this mean is that you have our kx is sitting right here and on top of it is sitting this kv and this comes from our projection map so you had this projection map from function to here and then uh, so this was our f equals to zero this is our a fine line this is the corresponding coordinate ring and we had this contravariance so here we have this prime ideal or maximal ideal say x minus a so on this ideal we are expecting at least n points to sit over it precisely because this degree of f is n so we are expecting it so what are the n points which could be possibly sitting on it is x minus a uh, say y minus b1 so this could be one ideal another ideal could be x minus a y minus b2 and x minus a y minus bn so you're expecting n of these to sit over it so if it is like this then there is no ramification only if there are fewer than n ideals this fewer than n sitting so that means someone will have more multipli uh, multiplicity so then there is ramification if there are fewer than n distinct maximal ideals that contain x minus a so these are n if they're fewer than n then there will be um, this ramification because the sum has to equal to n so this we had proven in the previous lecture that y degree of extension is equal to sum of this uh, ramification indices multiplied by the uh, degree of residue so this was a big theorem so this was a big theorem so one was a big theorem so because this has to hold so it has to be the case that if you do not have because everyone here will have ramification one there are n of these you add them up you get n 
you have to have the sum n so if you do not have n points then that means you have less than n points which would mean that sum of these numbers 1 has to be more than 1 to sum up to n so geometrically what it means is that x minus a ramifies in kv if and only if this pi inverse of a where pi is our projection map this projection map this has fewer than n points so let us um, uh, have some terminology and then uh, see a picture to see what uh, have we just said here so recall our projection map this goes from the vanishing set to the a fine line so the vanishing set of our polynomial so this pi is called a cover and pi inverse of a is called the fiber of pi over a and if this uh, ramification index is greater than 1 then the point a b is called the ramification point of pi and all this will be clear as soon as we discuss an example so the set of ramification points is called ramification locus so you have these ramification points these are lying in this v you take all these set of ramification points it is called ramification locus now you have the image of ramification locus so you have ramification locus sitting here you take its image by applying pi you land up in a1 so once you're in a1 these are called uh, branch locus and the elements of branch locus is called branched points so you have ramification point you apply pi to it you land in a1 you have a branched point so if branch locus is non-empty then pi is called branched cover so this will be called branched cover if our branch locus is non-empty so let us see this in a figure so say we have a figure like this so this is our polynomial f equals to 0 and it is getting projected to this line right here so over point a1 we have a ramification point and a ramification degree is 4 so we need four distinct points so you can say degree of f is 4 to start with so this n is 4 for our example and uh, say this is 4 because the degree of our polynomial f is 4 so this point has ramification 4 it sits over this a1 so over a2 there sit two points say so you have this point and you have this point so again ramification degree is 2 here 2 here so you're ramified here at these points so this is one so there's no ramification here you see there's it is just one this one 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 all of them add up to um, four so we are just taking some abstract curve but you can say that corresponding to a1 there will be some point here uh, so if this is x minus a1 there will be some point here which is x minus a1 and say y minus uh, b so this point a1 b this is the ramification point so now again uh, here you have this 2 here you have 3 so obviously here you will have 1 here you have 1 here you have 1 so everywhere the sum has to be 4 2 plus 2 4 4 there is 1 here 1 here 1 here 1 here all of them sum to 4 so uh, the ramification points are precisely where you have this 4, 2, 2, 2, 3. So these are our ramification points. Now the set of these ramification points, this is called the ramification locus. And uh, their image on A1, so these points are called branched points. Because if you lift it up to our cover so you're going from f to a1 this is projection pi so these are branched points and the set of branched points is called branched locus so the elements of branched locus are called branched points and this entire set set here is called so this a1 a2 a3 a4 these form the branched locus and you can see the center uh, the set is not empty 
so branch locus is not empty so therefore you call this cover as this cover was pi this pi is now called branched cover and you can also see fiber at a1 so this was the fiber at a1 this is the fiber at a2 this is the fiber at a3 this is the fiber at a4 so again geometrically x minus a ramifies in kv if and only if pi inverse of a contains fewer than n points so let us now do a concrete example so our example is going to be very simple that of a parabola so say f of x y is given as y minus 2 square minus x minus 1 and you have the corresponding ring k x y you modulo out the ideal generated by f so now you can consider the projection map pi a b to a so this k is algebraically closed but for our figure we are going to take real numbers so we are going to make choices accordingly uh, so a lies in 1 to infinity now we are thinking in terms of real numbers because we want to draw this picture so this will correspond to map kx to kb so you have this projection from our vanishing set to a fine line a1 which is uh, point a b gets mapped to a but corresponding to this you will have this contravariance now because corresponding to a1 we have kx corresponding to v we have kv so you have this thing so now we have to see that how do the ideals here ramify so the ideal here is just x minus 1 so this is the ideal here x minus 1 but in the ring here since in kv x minus 1 is equal to y minus 2 square so there is a ramification here too and you can see that this is a degree 2 polynomial so there is a ramification right here at 1 so x minus 1 ramifies with e equals to 2 in kv since we have this and for a in this that is for a greater than 1 corresponding to this ideal x minus a this will factorize like this in two parts so yeah so this will factorize in two parts as you can see this uh, the first coordinate and the second coordinate and the ramification index is one here so now these are the two uh, ideals which correspond to these two points so now we can uh, see clearly uh, what the uh, ramification is for a parabola so geometrically x minus a ramifies in kv if and only if pi inverse of a contains fewer than n points so there's ramification here because there is only one point and there is no ramification here because there are two points and the degree here is precisely two n is two so now you can consider an elliptic curve so say an elliptic curve is given as y square is equal to x times x plus one times x minus 1 so in this case also we have ramification so uh, we have ramification precisely at the roots so you will have one here and there will be root here which is will correspond to 0 so there will be ramification here and then there is ramification at minus 1 so because this x you can think of as x minus 0 so yeah so you have a ramification at three different points for an elliptic curve like this